Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be part two of the Touch DRO on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, and this is actually showing you that we have a working DRO with not a scale, but a rotary encoder. Stay tuned. Let's get going. One. So this is an Omeron uh, E6B2CWZ6C rotary encoder. And what this does is it has 1,024 pulses per revolution. And because it's quadrature, um, that means that that's multiplied by four. So we really have a little over 4,000 pulses per revolution of this shaft. Um, so what you could do, and this is where my thought process was going with this, is if you can't afford any type of magnetic scale and you can't afford uh, magnetic scales and you didn't want to do the cheapest route uh, doing a capacitor style um, encoder, what you could do is hook up one of these and since it's a keyed shaft, you could put a pulley on it uh, and then do some type of timing belt uh, where you would just tension the timing belt. You would get some fluctuation uh, based upon, you know, the belt stretching. But, you know, for something that's fairly inexpensive, easily accessible, and doesn't require nearly as much modifications or alignments, you know, you might be able to get away with it as a decent style um, scale, especially on a machine. So, yeah, so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So, it's got six cables if you're including the shield. So it's a five cable connection. So it's got a brown, which is your voltage, your blue, which is your common. It has your black, which is your out A output, white is your B output, and your orange, which I'm coming to find out you don't need to be plugged in anywhere. Uh, that's just a um, just a signal that goes back saying that it's working. So if you had a failure on this, right? So on the touch DRO, for example, you have uh, the pinouts here. And within this pinout, normally you have the five volts. You have the A, B, and the zero volt. So what I did was I hooked up this quadrature encoder just to do a test with the touch DRO. But you would plug it into the upper right five volt. So if you're looking at C2, for example, the Y axis. You could plug it into the 5 volt, you could plug it into the A, not the A prime, and the B, not the B prime, and then plug in the 0 volts, and then just let the other one dangle. So I did that here, and let me power this up. This is the uh, the new Touch DRO Quadrature Scale Adapter, so just an FYI there. And yeah, let me plug this in and show you guys the refresh and how it looks on the 7-inch Pi. So to continue from our last video, first thing that you do is you go to your Bluetooth devices. And then when you're inside your Bluetooth device, you make sure you click the pair new device and then your touch DRO, as long as it's powered on, will show up right there. And then what we'll do is we'll go right into the touch DRO system. So once we load up the touch DRO system, I've already gone through and connected it. So what we're going to do real quick is make sure we are connected. So we'll click the connect button, click on our, and now in the upper left corner, it'll say the words connected and my quadrature is on the ground. So my apologies, but here's the quadrature and how it's reading directly onto the DRO. Because of the sensitivity of this, um, I was able to get like 0 0.0002. So the last digit being two, and this is in inches. I was able to get it down to moving. If I just tapped it slightly, I could get it to move that tiny bit amount. So I know the resolution inside of this encoder is more than enough for it. But you can see here, just by rotating how fast 
the Bluetooth connection is to the Pi. There is no delay. Um, it seems like it's basically wired in directly. So that's kind of the nice thing. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you there is, you know, alternatives instead of using, you know, scales, you could use, you know, encoders, which were really meant for something completely different. But, you know, this is something that, uh, that you use on stepper motors and the stepper motors, um, can be used for multiple different things. This is for positional feedback for a motor. But in this case, if you hook this up to a timing belt, for example, if you had a timing belt, which this one's way too large, but the very small version of it, and you set that up onto the rotary encoder, and if it was set like that, and that was attached to your main output, and as you rotated this, you know, you would see positional moving on the touch DRO. So you would just then stretch a timing belt of some sort, uh, something like one of these GT2 timing belts with a GT2, uh, you know, style thing. Or you could even 3D print a, a gear of some sort and just put one of those tooth gears. And then that would be your, your scale. You wouldn't have to use the magnetic scales if you didn't want to. But anyway, this is just a test to show the magnetic scales hook up identically to this, to the touch DRO. So there is, you know, this as an option as well. But again, if you want to hook up magnetic scales or if you want to hook up glass scales, that's perfectly fine. But I am going to try to create some type of test and see, you know, what type of inlogation do we get from the, uh, from the belt and actually see how well this performs, you know, for something like a home shop, machine shop, someone that's on a budget like myself. So anyway, I just wanted to post this up as a follow-up video so people could see, you know, how fast the, you know, the touch DRO is with the uh, seven inch Raspberry Pi 3B plus. So thanks again for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Appreciate it. Have a great day.